Hey there, I'm Rick and I wanted to make a video showcasing some of the techniques I've learned for Brood Wars so far. So to start off with, I've got the fastest way of doing spawn broodlings on multiple units. So I'll show you how it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So what I did there was basically select all the coins all at once. Hold on to shift, holding on to shift is all good. Uh, hitting B, target a unit, peel a queen off, and rinse repeat until all the coins are done. And we'll see it again. So get some space, shift B, coin off. <laughs> Real cool. And this way you don't even need a super high APM to be able to do um, pull off a complex maneuver like that. Okay, next up I've got squeezing through mineral lines. So the way it looks like is like this. Uh, Alright, and there we go. <laughs> so it's a bit of spamming needed for it. Um, so basically what it need to be done is you need to get tight to a mineral uh, another SUV has to mine on top of it and once that SUV is mining on top of it then the unit can squeeze through so we'll go again yeah, we'll squeeze through and we'll see if we can get him first this time <laughs> at the same time uh, the next thing I've got here is the lava trick so normally you can't move this lava but see what happens when you select it over overlord and hit stop they all wiggle to the left oh, that one needs to come over and even that one will come over all the way through so it doesn't have to be an overlord can be any unit uh, it's, uh, especially at the start of the game it's a lot better to use an overlord instead of a drone um, not exactly where you might use this but maybe if you one of these lovers are preventing a building being built at the bottom um, that can be used there to move them over uh, let's see what have I got here ah uh, yep so I've got magic boxes for size storms so these high time player will sort of keep formation and this can be useful to actually um, keep formation with the side storm as well. Use it all at once instead of targeting every single one. So, the way we've got a similar sort of looking group of hydras up there. Um, we can use this to target the ground, and basically that storm will follow that pattern. You can do it! <laughs> now, here's one thing I never really quite knew. Um, quite often, I would go and just attack ground. And then go off, um, go off and start building stuff. You know? And then not quite realise that after my units have killed the initial front units, they'll just be dancing around. Of course I'll be over at my base, building something, or yada yada, and then I'd come back and realise, hey, oh no, they're still dancing around, they haven't actually um, busted through, they might have even died. So this technique here is, essentially sometimes you have to actually group your units and um, individually go in and command them to attack for the bus. Attack, yeah. Then we can use our hotkeys and actually command them to take down these supply depots. And that way with the same amount of units you can actually bust through and kill everything. I'm sure there was probably better examples where I probably could have saved a lot more ultras. But anyway, um, I'm sure this show is a good example. 
and not just simply setting your units for attack ground. Okay, over here I've got some drop techniques. Um, now, similar to that magic box, um, if your units aren't too far away, um, but you can unload in between them and they'll start dropping through their respective magic box trick. Uh, the other thing you can do, which I wasn't aware of, is as the overlord is moving or other transports, you can hit unload on the transport and they'll drop units as they move. That's pretty cool. But to demonstrate, why don't we try drop over on these siege tanks? We can fly this one slightly to the bottom, this one slightly to the top, and we'll unload as we come through. Neat. Uh, over here, I've got the same sort of spawn broodling trick. But for lockdown instead, uh, for people like me who haven't really customized their hotkeys, um, the shift on the right hand side also works. So we'll set, up, set these guys in cloak. And we'll peel off. And this is the fastest way to do lockdown as well on multiple units. Uh, last of all, uh, I've got a vulture micro trick and basically it involves using patrol as opposed to attack. Um, patrol will attack a lot faster than attack ground or attack move. Just to demonstrate, this is what it looks like with attack move. So the vulture almost stops the fire bullet. And this is what it looks like using patrol instead. As we see here, the vulture actually keeps on moving as it fires. So when you're using the patrol, you sort of have to still aim it towards the zealots a little bit. But as you see here, it's way faster than the attack ground would be. So those are some of the tricks that I've learnt for Brood Wars so far. Uh, apologies to people who already know these tricks um, and there's probably other techniques which I've still yet to learn but these are the ones that I've learned so far uh, I appreciate any comments uh, but otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you next time